Hi, thank you. Thank you for joining us. Art here and welcome back to Stem Cell Talks. In the last video before COVID-19 restrictions were imposed, we reported from the streets of New York. Well, we're back on the streets of New York to report on the latest in stem cell advances. We have a trifecta going on as our last two reports and this one all involve the innovative use of dental pulp stem cells, also known as DPSCs, in clinical trials. Researchers at the Cyril LeBain's Hospital and the Cleft Palate Specialists at the Infant Municipal Hospital, both in Sao Paulo, Brazil, have successfully completed a clinical trial utilizing DPSCs to treat alveolar cleft lip and palate deformities in young children. Cleft lip and palate is a condition that occurs when a child is born without a fully developed palate, that's the top of the mouth. The defect can extend anywhere from the bottom of the nose to the rear of the mouth. It's estimated that a child is born every three minutes with cleft, impacting approximately 200,000 children annually. Left untreated, it can lead to a number of health issues, such as malnutrition, infection, poor dental development, speech and language impairment, and social isolation. Cleft is a particularly acute problem in developing countries where access to modern healthcare is challenging and where intervention following birth may not be available. Hence, many children require intervention later in life when reparative surgery is more invasive and more difficult. Current late-stage intervention to repair the defect involves either utilizing a bone graft from another part of the body, typically the iliac crest, or the use of bone growth factors in scaffolding to promote bone growth. Stem cells, in particular DPSCs, represented another option that researchers believe could result in better outcomes than the prevailing intervention approaches. The treatment involved obtaining DPSCs from the patients themselves. As our regular viewers will recall, DPSCs fall into the category of mesenchymal stem cells, which are tissue related. These, are, these stem cells are highly proliferative and have a unique ability to differentiate into bone tissue, which is used to replace the missing palate bone. The clinical trial involved patients between the ages of 8 and 12. The cells are recovered from the patient's teeth, cultured, differentiated, and loaded onto an individualized scaffold designed to fill the defect of the specific patient. The scaffolds were then implanted into the patient. In 6 and 12 month follow-ups, the DPSC treatment exceeded the results typical of the other two intervention methodologies, that is bone grafting and growth factors. In addition, because the patients were utilizing their own stem cells, they suffered no adverse effects from the treatment and avoided the trauma associated with bone recovery in the bone grafting treatment option. Given the success of the initial trial, researchers are looking to expand the program, refine and standardize the protocols, and create training programs to enable more widespread application of this treatment option. This trial represents the leading edge of potential DPSC therapies as the research migrates from the lab to clinical trials. It is also an example of the impact stem cells and personalized medicine will have on a broad range of disease, trauma, and injury. And another reason why we at StemSave say the future of regenerative medicine is now. That's it for now. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget to like us and to subscribe, and we'll see you again soon.